What up, YouTube? It's your boy Juicy Jeff. Actually, that's not Juicy Jeff. It's Adventures with Jeff. Let me get my channel name right. Um, I'm back with another video. Sorry for the delay, guys. But we're gonna be back on the grind soon. I know, I know. You can't, you can't trust me, but we're gonna be back on the grind soon. I swear. I swear. We just gotta get in that flow again and making videos um, and just press record and send it. So anyway, the uh, title today for the video is how to solve the number one problem with van life and car camping. Where to park? That's the number one problem, right? And I have been fortunate enough, guys, to land a job here in Sedona where I can park my van um, anytime I want and camp. And it's definitely just made the whole process streamlined for living in a, in a van. It's almost like I have a place because I'm always going inside and using the restroom, using the sink, using the table in the back of the place, um, the fridge, the freezer for ice cream, root beer floats. Um, I'm using a lot of stuff there, so it's basically like I have my, my own place. And that's really the best hack I can share, guys. If you are a nomad or you're a van life uh, drifter and you're traveling around and maybe you're kind of like me where you want to like get jobs where you go and you don't work remote, you don't have um, like a big successful YouTube channel, you don't have the ability to just not go to a job, then you probably have to get a job where you're at. And if you can get a job where you can talk to your manager or talk to the owner of the company and say, hey, um, I live in my van, I live in my car right now, and just say, hey, I'm looking for a place, I wouldn't tell them that you're gonna, your goal is to just keep doing this lifestyle <laughs> as long as you can, um, but, yeah, I would say, you know, can I park my car at work? And a lot of people, I think, will let you do it if there's parking spots available. If it's not a, uh, if you're not a huge eyesore to the company, I think that that works out well. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that really is the number one way to solve the problem because you're killing two birds with one stone, not only are you getting a place to park, but you're also making money. So it just works out so well. And that's why I've been doing it now for almost a year. In December, it'll be a year with my van um, camping pretty much here in Sedona. So I still have my Prius, which I like, and it's actually starting to finally, I guess, come together in a way where it's making sense to have the Prius as well as the van. Um, I've probably already got my money's worth out of the van. If you think about rent prices, uh, my van was 9,000. So, you know, if you're paying a thousand bucks in rent a month, I've already pretty much made the van worth it. Sure, I might not have as much room as a comfortable apartment or place, but I think I've made the van worth it for me. Um, yeah, so that's it guys and what's been up with me i've just been working i've been adventuring i've been um riding my bike i got a couple of new toys i got to share on the channel and i really want to start doing some edits and vlogs with you guys that's kind of like the i'm gonna do videos like this we're gonna just do videos right we're gonna we're just gonna send it with youtube once again uh, we we gotta do it man but I wanna make edits for you guys of just like my day today, even though it might be boring, but we're gonna to try to make it cool and, and fun. Um, and yeah, so I got a new phone and that's kind of like, it's kind of been like the, the, the point of um, why I haven't been making a whole lot of videos is because um, I didn't have enough storage on my last phone. It was only 64 gigabytes and that was like the main reason and it was hard to edit and store and store footage and I don't use a computer for YouTube I use just my phone I edit I upload I record off my phone um, and as you guys can see I'm using the front facing camera right now and this camera is awesome um, so I got a new phone and that's gonna kind of I think catapult me back into making videos because now I know there's no hassle of not having storage so there's no hassle of um, not having good enough equipment I have the uh, best camera you can get on a phone the best microphone on the phone um so this is like the first test video but yeah guys uh, back to the subject at hand if you are a nomad and you are or you are living in a van van life is definitely harder than living in a car um, i car camped around towns for two years um straight up just parked 
on the side of the road, parked in an apartment complex, overflow parking, parked at Walmarts. And um, honestly, I wouldn't mind going back to car camping if I had a bigger car than the Prius. The Prius is, is great, but in retrospect, I would have gotten an SUV or a minivan, something that's super roomy and also stealthy. And I still might get a minivan in the future. I don't know. Um, but van life definitely is harder to camp every night, especially if you're in the same area. Van life really shines when you're driving around and you're just, you know, crossing the country, basically. That's where van life really shines, in my opinion. So, um, but anyway, that's why if you have a job where you can park there, it's a win-win for everybody. And especially in some of these um, vacation towns, it's hard for some employers to find workers. So if you can slide in there with your van and it works out for you and you are, you know, you want to do the job or you, you know, like the job enough, then make it work, you know? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, this is, uh, our latest video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're not going to string it out much longer than this. I wanted to just share a brief message on an idea that some of you guys should really think about. I didn't know it was possible. I didn't think it was possible until I actually have done it. And now I've done it for almost a year. Um, and it's awesome. Um, am I thinking about getting a place? Yes, I am thinking about getting a place, but I don't know if I want to do that because of the YouTube channel. I know I haven't been on YouTube very much, but that is pretty much one of the main reasons why I wouldn't want to get a place is because I feel like my inspiration for YouTube is drawn a lot from the nomadic lifestyle, the simple like living in a vehicle lifestyle. I think that's where a lot of my channel inspiration is drawn from. And that's kind of where my channel really, you know, actually got a little bit of growth. So um, for that reason alone, I, I kind of want to hold on to uh, living in the van and stuff like that. I might even just buy a new van um, or a minivan or just a bigger cargo van and build it out and just do that whole thing. I don't know. We're going to do something. But we're gonna start with making videos again and getting after it. Um, we gotta get some, uh, I guess, I wanna get, I gotta get a new uh, thing for my phone where I can put it up here. That only works with my uh, my other phone. I don't have the magnets on this phone because they're stuck on the other case and I can't get them off. So we gotta go get one of those today, I think, because um, it'll be way easier than holding the phone right here. But yeah, guys, um, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back for more, um, hopefully tomorrow, soon. We're gonna keep grinding on YouTube. Let's get it. Peace.